Jack the Ripper was a name given to an unidentified serial killer active around the Whitechapel District of London in 1888. His name was given to him after a letter appeared and was signed Jack the Ripper, but the letter was thought to be most likely a hoax written by journalists to heighten interest in the story. Other nicknames of the killer were Whitechapel Murderer as well as Leather Apron. His main victims were female prostitutes who lived in the East End of London, which was not a very safe place to live in the first place. The victims were usually found with their throats sliced and abdominal mutilations. Organs from some of the victims were removed, which led to the idea that the killer had some surgical knowledge. Five of his victims, Marianne Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, and Mary Jane Kelly, were known as the Canical Five. Unfortunately, their murders were never solved. Eleven murders were linked to Jack the Ripper, but only five were almost certain were done by Jack the Ripper himself, and we will be going over those five. Marianne Nichols' body was found on August 31st, 1888, in Bucks Rose, Whitechapel. Her throat was sliced open, and her lower abdomen was ripped by a jagged wound. Unfortunately, there were no witnesses. Annie Chapman's body was discovered on September 8th, 1888, in a backyard. Her throat was also sliced open, and the abdomen was slashed entirely open, and was later discovered that her uterus had been removed. One witness said that they saw Chapman with a man just an hour before her body was discovered. Elizabeth Stride and Catherine Eddowes' body were discovered on September 30, 1888. Stride's body was discovered in Dutfield's yard, and Eddowes was found in Mitre Square in London just an hour after Stride's body was found. Both bodies' throats were sliced as well as their abdomens. Eddowes' left kidney and a majority of her uterus had been removed. Another witness said that they've seen Eddowes with a man just before her body was found. The description was almost identical to Chapman's witness, stating the man was fair-haired and had a shabby appearance. Mary Jane Kelly's murder was the most brutal. She was found on her bed on November 9th. All of her organs were missing, and her throat was sliced all the way down to her abdomen. Unfortunately, there were no witnesses and not much evidence to go off of. The identity of Jack the Ripper still stays unknown till this day, but there were many suspects. Montague John Druitt was an assistant schoolmaster in Blackheath, London. He was only a suspect because a few weeks after Mary Jane Kelly's death, Druitt's body was found in a lake which was concluded to be a suicide. Police thought he killed himself so that he wouldn't be caught after killing those five women. After investigations, it was declared that he had no ties with Jack the Ripper and killed himself for other reasons, one theory being his mother and grandmother suffered from a mental illness and in fear of being hereditary, he killed himself to avoid becoming mentally ill. George Chapman immigrated from Poland to the UK shortly before the murders began. Chapman was hanged in 1903 for poisoning three of his wives. During the time of the Whitechapel murders, Chapman worked as a barber in the area. He was a favored suspect, but after his death by hanging, it was concluded that his killing methods were completely different than the Ripper's methods because Chapman poisoned his wives while Jack the Ripper mutilated his victims. Nicknamed Leather Apron, John Pizzer was a bootmaker in Whitechapel and was believed to have committed a few assaults on prostitutes. Even though there was no evidence to prosecute him, many locals suspected Pizzer to be the killer. He was later cleared when he had alibis for two of the murders. James Thomas Sadler was the last one to be included into the wide range of suspects. He was a suspect because one of his friends, Francis Cole, was murdered by his throat being slit. Sadler was arrested, but there was no evidence, and thus he was let go. Police thought him to be a possible suspect, but he had alibis during the earlier killings of Jack the Ripper. There were 18 suspects in total, but none of which were proven to be Jack the Ripper. Although the killings happened 100 years ago, the case is still open and conspiracy theories are still being released on who killed the Canical Five.